How difficult is it to live with an undiagnosed disease when nobody knows what's wrong with you, nobody recognizes what's wrong with you? Christine Davidson said you know, she'd been accused of being a hypochondriac. Is that common? It, it is common. Uh, that is to say, um, there's a huge amount of suspicion that's engendered by someone who says, you know, I'm, I'm sick, I have a disease, but nobody can tell me what it is. You know, you, you can sort of imagine that. People automatically assume you're making it up. Yeah, they, they do. And especially if the disease doesn't have uh, really blatant manifestations. Uh, and, and even if it does, let's say you're wheelchair bound, you know, people will say that you're in the wheelchair because you want to be, or because you're sort of making a big thing out of it. This has effects on an adult's children, on spouses, on family members, relatives, and uh, em employers, employees, friends. But uh, again, I'll, I'll sort of reiterate it, it also has an effect on, on doctors. Doctors who cannot make a diagnosis feel uncomfortable enough that sometimes they want them, the, the patient, out of the office. They just want to be rid of that person. They don't want to be confronted with that failure. Right, right. Uh, uh, that, that's right. And then they feel, I guess it might be a little bit more accurate to say that they feel badly that they can't help the patient, and that makes them uncomfortable. I, I think maybe not so often do they uh, feel badly about themselves being failures. Uh, that, that could be an element, 